hockey preview video. We're going to be discussing the 2018 men's hockey tournament coming up at the Pyeongchang Olympics in South Korea. And that's coming up next. Welcome back to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. We review and discuss all 31 NHL teams as well as international tournaments. So if you're a huge hockey fan, consider subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. All right, so let's jump into the Olympic hockey tournament for the men coming up here in a few days time. The Olympics are officially underway and the men's hockey tournament here starts shortly. So let's discuss the teams that are in the tournament and let's take a look at some of the notable players for each team in the tournament. So this tournament obviously is going to be a little bit different without NHL player participation. We've already done some previous uh, Olympic preview videos breaking down some of the individual teams. We discussed Team Canada, Team USA, and Team Sweden. If you missed those videos, there'll be a YouTube card up here with a playlist to go back and to get a little bit more of an in-depth analysis on those teams. But for today, we're going to do a general tournament overview and we're going to discuss the notable players to look for in the tournament and kind of give you an idea of what to expect as this tournament progresses. So this tournament is broken up into three groups. Each group has four countries in it, and each country will play the other three countries in their group during the preliminary round. Then the top four teams move on to, the, to pass the first playoff round, while the other eight teams battle it out for a chance to move on to play those other four teams that automatically advance. So it's a little bit of a different format than you might be used to for some other international tournaments, but it should be still some pretty good hockey here. Like I said, though, it will definitely be different without having NHL player participation. So let's take a look at the countries here that are taking part in the 2018 Pyeongchang Hockey Tournament. So we have Group A, which consists of Canada, the Czech Republic, Switzerland, and South Korea. We have Group B, which consists of the uh, Americans from the USA, Slovakia, Slovenia, and the Olympic athletes from Russia. Obviously, the Russian athletes are not called Team Russia this year uh, because of the scandal that went down. So they're referred to as the Olympic athletes from Russia. So in Group C, we have Sweden, Finland, Norway, and Germany. So as I mentioned, each team will play a three-game preliminary round-robin tournament where they play each other country within their group, and then from there they start the playoff rounds. So let's take a look and give you an idea here what to expect. Obviously, I think the, uh, the main teams that are going to be the favorites, according to the odds makers, and I would agree with this, you're going to look for the, the Russian athletes as well as Sweden, Canada and the USA. More than likely, you can't count out Finland as well. Finland always puts together a pretty solid team, regardless of which players are going. So those are probably, safe to say, gonna be your top five. Obviously, when you have some countries like South Korea, Germany, Slovenia, uh, there's not a lot of hockey history there. They are getting better all the time and producing more talent, but they're obviously, I don't think they're quite at a, a talent level yet to compete with some of these other countries, but they're certainly getting better all the time, as I mentioned, even teams like uh, Norway, for example, Switzerland, they're coming a long ways, but I don't think they're going to be able to compete with the, uh, the, the powerhouses of this tournament. So let's take a look here and see some notable players to look out for on each team. Now, most of the majority of our viewers for this channel are mainly NHL fans, obviously, so I'm going to kind of talk more about players you might know from the NHL. Obviously, there's a lot of players coming from the KHL uh, or the SHL, the Finnish Elite League, etc. So obviously, those are players that a lot of the North American viewers are not as familiar with, so we are going to discuss that a little bit. But if there's any players that I don't mention here that mainly play in Europe and those other leagues and you think are worth noting, certainly leave some comments down below to let us know what you think of these players and what to look out for. And I certainly appreciate your help with that. Being in North America, we don't get to see those other leagues uh, play a whole lot, so I mainly rely on, on highlights online through YouTube and stuff. So obviously they're, they're players we're familiar with the play over there, but they're mainly players that originated from the NHL and went over afterwards. So let's dig in here and see what we have for notable players to keep your eyes open for. Let's start with the Russian athletes that I mentioned. I think it's pretty safe to say they're gonna be a powerhouse team in this tournament, and I think would probably be the favorite to win. I think Sweden would probably be the other team I'd pick between them and Russia, I think are more likely going to win the gold medal here. But uh, Russia is going to have some uh, players from the NHL that you will recognize that are some pretty darn good players. For example, they have uh, Ilya Kovalchuk, who obviously we know is a major goal scorer. Uh, and they also have Pavel Datsuk. 
and they have uh, Vadim Chipachev. Well, obviously Chipachev uh, went with the Vegas Golden Knights this year. That didn't work out. He didn't play a whole lot, and then it returned after to the KHL. But obviously he's a name that you probably are familiar with as well. Another forward uh, that you probably recognize is Mikhail Grigorenko. On defense, they have Slava Voinov. Obviously, you probably remember him from the LA Kings days. Uh, Voinov ended up going back to the KHL due to some legal issues he ran into in the U.S. Um, if you're not familiar with that, you can certainly uh, punch that into Google and get, Google and get all the details. I don't want to get into that right now, but he certainly ran into some issues there uh, while playing for the LA Kings. Now, a couple of other notable things to watch here for Russia is the goaltenders. Even though they're not currently active NHL goalies, they are some pretty big name NHL prospects that I've had my eye on and I fully suspect will make it over to the NHL within the next year or two. We're talking about goaltender Igor Shesterkin, who's absolutely tearing it up in the KHL. He's a New York Rangers prospect and he certainly looks like he's gonna be phenomenal. And their other goaltender to keep your eye on is Ilya Sorokin. Both of those guys are gonna likely end up in the NHL here, more than likely sooner than later. They both have phenomenal stats in the KHL and are highly sought after to be brought over by the NHL clubs that currently own their rights. So currently, keep your eyes open for the Russians. I think they're gonna have a phenomenal team and uh, we'll see what they can do here in this tournament. But there's certainly lots of big names there that you can certainly keep your eyes open. Uh, say if you're an NHL fan, watch their goaltenders because they're definitely going to be uh, NHL uh, stars in the making here in the next coming years. Now let's take a look at Team USA. They're obviously captained by longtime NHL uh, player Brian Gionta. And it wouldn't completely shock me when this tournament is done. It's highly speculated that there's a pretty good chance that Gionta might get a chance to sign with an NHL club to finish out the NHL season and get one more crack at maybe winning a Stanley Cup. I think he'd be a good uh, potential veteran forward to add to a team that might be looking to make that playoff push and, uh, and go for it at the Cup here uh, as we enter the spring playoff season. But Brian Gionta is the captain. Some other notable players to keep your eyes on. Uh, well, their goaltender that you're mainly going to look at is Ryan Zapolsky, who's also a fairly big star over in the KHL. Like he's got some pretty good stats over there. He's mainly made a living of playing in that league, but he's done really well at it, and uh, I fully suspect for him to have a good tournament. Now, there's, all, there's also, besides Gionta, the other players you might be more recognizable from play, watching North American hockey here is the uh, there's some young stars especially if you watch the world junior tournament you would have seen a couple of these guys in the last couple of years and they're also big time nhl prospects that i would not be surprised to see in the, in the nhl sooner than later so we've got ryan donato who belongs to the boston bruins and it is fully suspected he may end up getting a chance to play in boston after this tournament as well uh, we also have jordan greenway out of minnesota and troy terry troy terry is a bit of a shootout specialist if you remember when they won the U.S. won the gold medal against Canada two years ago, uh, he was the shootout hero who put that home for the U.S. So they get some young uh, college and junior age players that are certainly going to make a difference on that team and make them highly competitive. So keep your eyes for the Americans. I fully suspect them to have a very strong tournament in this uh, with this group they have here. Now let's take a look at Team Canada. Team Canada is captained by longtime NHL player Chris Kelly. Obviously, Chris Kelly played for the Ottawa Senators for a long time. Also played for the Boston Bruins for a fair bit and won a Stanley Cup with him. So he's got a lot of valuable experience and he was a great choice that they picked him to be their team captain. So some other notable players for Team Canada, a lot of these guys, a um, fair bit of them at least, did play in the NHL or now currently playing either in the uh, in the KHL or in the SHL or in Switzerland. There are a lot of playing throughout a variety of uh, European leagues. Um, and some of these guys you're definitely going to recognize. For example, Derek Roy is a fairly big name player uh, who had a pretty good NHL career. He's bounced around through the European leagues a little bit. He's currently playing in the SHL in Sweden and having a pretty good season. Uh, and some other notable guys, Mason Raymond, you remember him? He played for the Flames as well as the Leafs. Um, he's a very fast skater. He's currently playing in Switzerland right now and uh, doing pretty well over there. Uh, Wojtek Wolski, who left the NHL at a fairly young age and has been playing in the KHL and making a pretty good living at it over there. Uh, Wolski, for some reason, never really quite produced at a higher level in the NHL like a lot of people thought he would, but he's certainly having a, a pretty good productive career over in the NHL and would expect him to be a top player for Canada at this tournament. A couple other guys that you'll rec recognize as well is Rene Bork. Uh, he played for a variety of NHL teams, Montreal, Calgary, just to name a couple. Uh, Max Lapierre also played for the Habs, um, played for Vancouver for a while as well. So he's going to be probably their uh, number two or three center iceman. Uh, so keep your eyes for Lapierre. All of their goaltenders have previous NHL experience, and they're all currently playing over in Europe uh, between the European leagues and the KHL as well. They've got Ben Scrivens. Uh, Justin Peters and Kevin Poulin. So they're fairly strong on goal. Like I said, a lot of uh, 
the, uh, the betting odd places seem to think Canada should be one of the favorites. I think besides the, the uh, Sweden team and the athletes from Russia, I think Canada's kind of right up there. They'll certainly give them a good run, but I, I'm not sure that they're going to be quite strong enough to win gold, but I guess we'll see here. Uh, they're certainly, they are the defending gold medal team, but obviously it's not anywhere near the same uh, since we've had NHL participation at this tournament for quite some time. So it's certainly going to be different this year. So now some of the other teams don't have quite as many notable players to mention here, but we'll certainly get into to some of them for sure. Like Sweden, we'll have more guys you recognize. We'll get to Sweden here in just a second. Uh, for example, the Czech Republic, they're captained by Martin Erat. You remember Martin Erat played in the NHL a long time, mainly between uh, Washington and Nashville. So he's certainly still playing as well uh, over there in the Czech Republic and having a pretty good career. Uh, Yuri Seacatch played with Montreal as well as the Anaheim Ducks. He's a name you probably recognize. And uh, Michael, well, we, we call Michael Jordan over here in North America just because of the reference to the basketball star, Michael Jordan. Uh, it's, it's actually pronounced Jordan, I believe. Uh, so obviously he's from the Czech Republic. He's currently uh, playing over in the KHL. He had a pretty decent stretch of time there with the Carolina Hurricanes. I was kind of surprised to see him uh, leave and head over to the KHL. Maybe it was an opportunity for him to make more money, I'm not sure. But he did do pretty decent in the NHL when he was playing with the Carolina Hurricanes. Now if you take a look at the uh, team for Switzerland, there's a few names you're going to recognize. Their goaltender, Jonas Hiller, had a pretty good NHL career playing for the Ducks and the Flames. Um, and so he's still playing over in Switzerland and he's doing quite well. And another name you're going to recognize is Rafael Diaz, defenseman who played for a while in Montreal. Um, so here's another name for you to keep your eye on. Now, a couple other countries here, like for example, Slovakia, uh, they don't have a lot of notable names that North American players or, or fans may recognize, but one is Ladislav Nagy. Obviously, Nagy played his junior career here in Canada, and as well, uh, he played with the Flames, and then uh, he did have a shot in the NHL. Didn't last too long, but Nagy's definitely, for me, I got to see him play a lot when he was in junior, so it's certainly a player I'm quite familiar with, and uh, depending on how closely you follow junior hockey in Canada, you're likely familiar with him as well. Uh, the German team has a couple former guys, Marcel Gotch and Christian Erhoff. They both had uh, a variety of teams they played with. I think at one point they both played with the San Jose Sharks, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, look at the team Finland. Uh, Finland definitely has a few players to keep your eye on. Like I mentioned, outside of Canada, Sweden, Russia, maybe the U.S., I do. Finland is always a team that you can never count out. They always put together uh, a lot of good hockey players and the good hockey teams in all these international tournaments and they're a, a great hockey player producing country. So I fully suspect a great effort here out of the Finns. Uh, the goaltenders, Kerry Ramo, uh, is another goalie you'll recognize from the NHL. Uh, they have some other guys to keep an eye on. They have some young guys too to watch that are top prospects. They've got Miro Heiskanen, Samuel Lepisto, and Lassie Kukonen as their captain. Uh, another guy to keep your eye on is Eli Tolvanen, who's one of the top prospects uh, to be playing in the NHL soon as well. Uh, Tolvanen plays for Jokerit in the KHL. Uh, Heiskanen is playing in the Finnish Elite League, as I believe Lepisto is as well. Now, let's get into Team Sweden, who's also, like I mentioned, going to be one of the favorites here. Uh, Sweden is captained by Joel Lundqvist, the twin brother of Rangers star goaltender Henrik Lundqvist. You definitely know Henrik Lundqvist if you're an NHL fan. Uh, Joel is his twin brother. He did play for a while in the NHL for the Dallas Stars, and he's been playing over in Sweden for some time, and he's going to be their team captain. Now, another, uh, some other notable names here for Team Sweden, goaltender Jonas Enroth and Victor Fast. You both recognize those guys from the NHL. Uh, their other third goaltender is uh, Magnus Helberg. You may recognize that name as well. On defense, uh, Michael Wickstrand, who was in the Senators organization. And the number one projected overall pick in this year's 2018 draft, Rasmus Dahlin, is playing for Team Sweden. You definitely want to check out Sweden's games whenever possible. This kid is a phenomenal young star and is a, basically a generational type talent who's going to definitely be the number one pick in the 2018 NHL draft this year, uh, this summer coming up. In Dallas, Texas. If you haven't had a chance to watch Darlene play, you definitely want to take in some of these games. That kid is absolutely phenomenal. Now, I've had a lot of Swedish fans on this channel tell me they feel like Darlene's probably going to be like a number six or seven defenseman to start the tournament, and maybe you might be right. You might know some of the European Swedish players uh, that play in the SHL or the KHL better than me. However, this guy, I have so much faith in Darlene, I would not be surprised to see him work his way up the depth chart and by the end of the tournament getting some pretty big minutes for Sweden. Uh, he's definitely going to be another chance for him to showcase to the world who don't know him yet just how good he is. So definitely keep your eye on Rasmus Dahlin. Uh, he's a pure treat to watch play hockey. So definitely check that out. Uh, a few uh, forwards that you're going to recognize from the NHL. Anton Lander, 
Linus Olmark and Victor Stahlberg. Obviously, Stahlberg bounced around a lot. You would have seen him in last year's NHL playoffs playing for Ottawa uh, when they uh, run to the Eastern Conference Final. So definitely keep your eye on Team Sweden. I fully suspect big things out of them. Uh, they're going to be one of the favorites for this tournament. So as I mentioned, if there's any players that I did not mention that currently play between the KHL, the Finnish Elite League, the Sweden, like the SHL in Sweden, or the Swiss League, or any of those uh, highly competitive European leagues, certainly leave some comments down below. Tell the North American viewers other players they need to keep their eyes open because there might be players that they're not as familiar with because we don't get a chance to watch them play like you guys do over in Europe. So certainly leave lots of comments. Let me know what you think about this Olympic tournament coming up. It's going to be getting started here in a couple days' time. So certainly let me know what you think about the Olympic hockey tournament. Don't forget as well to follow us on Twitter. You're going to see our Twitter handle on the screen right here. As well as we're also on Facebook and Instagram. And all those accounts are linked down below in the description. So certainly check those out. Thank you very much for watching everybody. We'll catch you next time.